Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel dashboards. All right, today uh, Kevin submitted this problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at his specific problem. Um, what Kevin had was he said, all right, here's the issue at hand. I'm an engineer who wants to properly graph and show my boss how much time I am designing, modeling, 3D parts and assemblies. So he gave us this data set here and he created, um, to create a 3D model, it's simple, but to do an assembly, it just takes a lot more time. He wanted to show his boss, using graphs and, and some more data points, what it takes. So here's a part that he might be doing, here's an assembly. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. So uh, here's his current graph, and as you can see down here, what he did is he's got uh, columns for how many hours it takes. Um, and what he did is he also, you can see in the link below, used a technique that I've showed on how to add more rows to your data table without actually adding them to the table. And uh, here's what his final graph looks like. Um, as you can see down here on the bottom, um, right down there, you'll see all these little zeros. Uh, he wanted this to either say part or ASM. So you can see here's what his final chart that he wants to do. He says, I want to do a part or an ASM. So part, part, part. See, an assembly takes longer. Um, he's got start and stop times. Wants to show this data uh, in this table, but he, all he's getting is zeros. And so he wanted to know how do we go about doing that. Don came up with a great solution for this as well. Um, in that, uh, what he did is he went ahead and created the chart put in the data table um, as created, and then for each one of the columns, he has whether the part is a part or an ASM. Uh, so how he did this is, these, this is only in 2013, so just be aware of that. Um, what he did is he created data labels on top of his chart, um, and then what he did is he clicked on the data labels after creating them. So these might have been one, 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 two, one, one. Uh, if you hit control one, it's going to bring up your data labels formatting dialog box over on the right in Excel 2013. And look at this. The first thing in the label option contains is value from cells. So what he did is he checked value from cells. He selected the range, went in here, and just selected the range of um, the part that he wanted to show. So, um, And then if we go back into the chart, watch this, if I change ASM on the third item to ASM, all caps, look at that, it changed it from part to ASM. Let me undo it so you can see it. So see it's part now. Um, and uh, if I do it again, it'll change it back to ASM. Uh, we can put anything in here. We don't have to put part or ASM. We could have put this is my label. Um, and it's a great feature that Excel 2013 has that it will create dynamic labels for you um, from a range. So um, hopefully you find this tip and trick helpful in Excel. And uh, once again, thanks, Don, for showing me that uh, awesome new solution that Excel 2013 has. And uh, once again, uh, please subscribe to my video channel. And thanks, everybody, for uh, contributing and making me such a success.